Hey guys, Joe here with Steel Ops. Um, real quick, I wanted to make a video and just kind of share my opinion on a topic that's been getting brought up quite a bit recently, and that is backpack armor. Guys, this is just my opinion. This is not gospel. So if you disagree with me, please comment below and tell me your thoughts. Give me your opinions on the matter. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys on this, but uh, generally speaking, guys, I'm going to start off by saying that generally speaking, I think backpack armor is a bit of a gimmick. You'll notice that Steel Ops doesn't sell quote-unquote backpack armor. Now, we get the question, can you use our body armor panels in a backpack? Absolutely. Sure you can. Uh, they work just as good in a plate carrier as they do in a backpack if they are worn correctly. That's the kicker. And this is why I think the backpack armor in general is just a little gimmicky and why it's kind of shady how some of the companies out there are selling it. Number one, guys, the vast majority of the backpack armor that I'm seeing is 3A. It's only going to stop handgun velocities, or I'm sorry, handgun masses at handgun velocities. It's not going to stop a rifle round at close range. By close range, I mean inside of 100 yards. Okay, it's not going to do anything. Um, that's a problem. That's that's super shady. Like if you're going to put something in your kid's backpack, I, I get the argument that some armor is better than no armor. Um, I, I disagree with that in some circumstances because having body armor can provide a false sense of security if you don't know what it's capable of stopping and what it's not capable of stopping. So, um, you know, I, I think that it's a lot to ask for, too, uh, of a 6 to 18-year-old kid to know how to properly implement body armor. Like I was saying, if it's not worn correctly, it doesn't do any good. I've said this before, I'll say it again, body armor is only as good as the tactics that you use to implement it. If you're using bad tactics or procedures, it doesn't matter what body armor you're wearing, it's not going to do any good. To expect a 6 to 18-year-old 6 to 18 year old kid to know all those things without any kind of training, uh, I, I think is foolish. So if you are going to use backpack armor, there needs to be some training that goes along with that. You know, And if you're a guy that's already familiar with body armor, then sure, take a panel and put it in your backpack. You know, And if you've done so with our body armor already, great, more power to you. But you know, I, my wife's a school teacher, I've been to those schools, I'll tell you right now, I'm not going to be putting backpack armor in my kid's backpack when he goes to school. I'm just not. Um, I will be teaching him how to use a tourniquet. I'll be teaching him how to use a chest seal. I'll be teaching him, you know, uh, how to pack a wound, uh, cover versus concealment, and more than anything, situational awareness. You know, know who's around you. Know, you know, be able to identify when somebody's having a bad day. Don't be afraid to walk up to that kid that's, you know, that is getting bullied and try to be somebody's friend, man. Talk to them. Those are all skills. The beauty of those skills too, guys, is that they help more than just you. You can use those skills to help somebody else. Body armor only protects the person behind it. Knowing how to use a tourniquet can be reused over and over and over again in the same situation based on how many tourniquets you got, you know? And there's no shelf life on being a good person and having good situational awareness and you know being a friend to somebody that maybe needs it so I think that there is better places that we can put our energy than backpack armor um, the salesman in me really wants everybody to go out and buy backpack armor oh yeah you know buy our panels put them in your kids backpacks I think that that's shady I think that that's playing into your guys's fears and emotions um, and there's a lot of companies out there that are guilty of it. And I, I would I would ask yourself if, if those are companies that you really want to do business with, you know, um, that aren't giving you this kind of information, this kind of feedback. Um, I think that a better place to put our energy might be into having a trauma kit in every classroom. I've been to the classrooms and the vast majority of them only have like a first aid kit. There's a big difference between a first aid kit and a trauma kit, you know. Uh, I think that paying to have teachers trained to know how to use a trauma kit would be a great place you know let's all get together as parents and pay for our teacher to go through a, a two or three day course on how to use a trauma kit so that she can render aid he or she can render aid there's a great idea so again guys these are just my opinions if you use our body armor panels as backpack armor more power to you if you put them in your kids backpack more power to you. I applaud you for at least taking some initiative to protect your children. I'm never going to tell you, you know, that you're doing it the wrong way. I just, I would encourage you that if you are doing it, to make sure that there's the training that goes along with it so that they know how to use it. Um, 
so that, you know, I've, I've seen the kids wear backpacks with one arm done or both arms done and it's down around their butt or it's under a desk and in a locker. Guys, the last thing I want kids worrying about if there's an active shooter situation is how do I get to my backpack? That's not where we want their focus. We want their focus on getting out of there. If you're ever in a situation where you're being fired at with a weapon and you don't have one to return fire, get out of there. Get the hell out of there. That's where we want our kids' mindsets to be, not I got to go into the hallway to get my backpack. That would be tragic, okay? So, um, again, if you disagree with my opinions, guys, please comment below. Let me know what you think. And uh, as always, if you have questions about how to use body armor or questions about our products and what they're capable of, reach out to us at www.steelops.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy.